Just look at this liquidation map. Do you see how much short liquidity we actually have above us? This is just crazy to see. You might think that everyone is so bullish on the marketplace. It's Q4. It's October. We are going higher. I want to tell you, I want to say that we should still see the slight continuation of the current dip. And you will understand why 100%. I will show it to you. I will explain everything to you. And I will share some bit of information about how market participants are essentially behaving themselves currently in connection to each other as well. You have seen some things pumping and then people, they can just, they just can't sustain the pump. They are just selling on each other because they are afraid. Just in one month, in two months, in three months from now, sit there and think, man, why, why did I sell? If I only would, would hold. <laughs> why did I sell? Right? So, without further ado, let's start. BTC is at 63.9k at this stage. We have this huge liquidity level. You can see right here huge liquidity level and we're kind of like continuing to actually trade sideways in this price action and what's interesting is that this type of setup when we are trading in the range we're going higher into the range and then we're going down below usually this pattern is actually signalizing us to go a bit lower to go down from here which is very interesting i would say that our support area at this stage is around 62.4 thousand dollars at the same time in liquidation maps i do not see a lot of long leverage liquidations i just see a giant wall of short liquidations it's crazy like it was not here 100 percent just a giant wall of short liquidations so the market definitely has enough me to just push further from here based on this wall longs all the longs they got liquidated and do you remember i was telling you we're going to 62k at least to liquidate all these longs do you remember i told you this i actually told you this the only one person in the marketplace when everyone was bullish right fear and greed index at 48 currently at this stage and you might say that it's a very very basic metric but overall we have to look at these things as well coins they do not sustain the pump nothing is happening like something is pumping and then it's constantly getting sold People do not have a lot of conviction at the current moment. At the same time, some coins, obviously, they, over time, they increase and increase piece by piece, step, step by step, they increase the floor. And if you're thinking on entering coins, if you're thinking, oh, I will just buy later. Nah, nah, you will buy later, but your entry point will be way worse. You will be thinking in the first place, why did I sell? Why I did not hold? And secondly, you will be thinking, my entry point is, is so bad. I was able to get so much more tokens for my useless US dollars at that level. I didn't do that. I didn't pull the trigger, unfortunately. Something that we have to discuss as well, something that's very bullish. And we honestly, we do see the same pattern on this chart as well. We have the sideways consolidation. We are going higher here. And this is the same type of pattern. We are going above the range and exactly on the size of the range, right? We are going straight back in and we're usually going down. And like this situation, this is BTC dominance chart I'm showing you. This situation is unprecedented. This is something that we've never seen for, I would say almost for the whole bull market thus far. What does it mean? BTC dominance going down on the correction. What does it mean? It means that people are not actually going back to BTC on the corrections. They're selling the BTC and they're repositioning to altcoins, which is crazy to think that. Do you understand this? On the correction, Bitcoin holders are selling their Bitcoin and buying into altcoins. This is just crazy to actually see. Just crazy. Total three, higher highs, higher lows. So just, just going up. And you kind of can see that we had a, a reversal right here as well. Reversal, yeah. So total three looks like a chart of all the alts that I was showing you clear reversal structure clear reversal structure at this stage and we already confirmed this high so we are above this high so we kind of confirmed the move up we kind of confirmed the new move structure right we faced resistance at this level right and we are consolidating just below this level just below this level currently we kind of need to feel a bit more pain right at the same time this liquidation map so many people are shorting, so many shorts to take the money, to take the liquidity and push this thing higher. 235 
million dollars worth of short liquidity only on Binance at 64.2 level per BTC, only $200 away, only $200, 200 points. That's just crazy to see at this stage. Also, exactly as I was telling you, so you just continue to pump, nothing is happening. Do you actually understand how many people closed the shorts here? How many people sold the SUI here and decided to re reposition, right? And what they will be doing in this market once this thing will be at four bucks, at eight bucks, at 10 bucks and 12 bucks, how they will be looking in the mirror. It's just crazy. Like this market, I lost a bunch of money in the last two to three weeks. I was like revenging Solana meme coins and it's almost like all these digens. 16 years old poor jits they only made money based on me right because i i lost all of this money instant to sold digit market because these guys they can't hold it don't hold at the same time i've entered some place on ETH, and i'm doing well ethereum is just different type of strategy probably people that understand the market structure a bit better at the same time for these 16 year old pure jits their sole strategy definitely works well, at least for some of them with the following, right? So let me actually show you how a lot of Solana meme coins charts um, look like currently. So they essentially kick off like somewhere right here. It's a very, very low market cap, like 40K, maybe like 40K to 100, right? Then uh, influencers or people that have access to tools that essentially tell them about these meme coins at these levels, they buy in, they, they buy at these levels. Then they start to shill into their TG channels using the followers as exit liquidity and this thing pumps. So let's say it actually pumps. Well, I'm sorry. So pumps further, right, right here. And let's say this is like 800K market cap. What's happening then is uh, someone is selling and they all start to sell and it just goes back to 200K. Some cases in just rocks right away, which is just crazy to me because all these guys are calling this thing and this thing is ragging two hours after this is, this is just crazy right and in some cases it just continues like this right so can't hold the fucking shit don't you fuckers understand that if you would actually hold from these levels it won't drop like this you will be able to move higher in the market cap and you will be able to dump higher and still have some supply right but they're just dumping because they don't trust each other. They don't trust anyone at this stage. It's very interesting. And it's almost like stupidity of this strategy is very, very interesting because with a lot of the memes, what you actually have to do is just wait on this, like sell on these tops. And you can be sure like 100% that this low will be met. And maybe this low will be met as well. This is the strategy that they're using currently because they can't hold and they, they have to sell for profits. They have to say like 500 bucks profits, 700 bucks profit. Just, just crazy to me. But what's the reason is that this strategy is kind of already well known on the market and it's kind of getting adapted that the coins that are being traded currently look like this. The fact that people are scared and the fact that chart they essentially charge they essentially looks like this, right? They look like this. Maybe after some time it will recover, but We'll see, right? And the strategy is kind of getting abused. Like the reason people are selling here because they kind of try to force this drop to here, to this level, right? And they kind of think that the market is still in the same conditions. However, when we will be getting a runner, when essentially this strategy will lead to heavy underperformance in the marketplace, it will probably start to change over time. And the situation I'm essentially talking about is something similar that we have on Sui, right? Something like this. So the guy sold here. He thought that he would be able to rebuy here, but nah, this thing just went up to here. Did the same thing. The guy just sold here. He saw that he would be able to rebuy maybe somewhere here. Nah, this thing just went higher. And I'm seeing them in the chats like, I sold too early. Oh, why they decided to push? I was holding for the whole day, but they, but they decided to push just now. I was holding for the whole day, they're saying. That just, that's just crazy to me, to, to be honest. So this is the situation out there currently at this stage. And I do believe that very, very soon, I, I would probably even give you the, the time frame, start of the next week, probably Tuesday. Actually, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, Wednesday of next week will be 8th of October. The data I told you that investors will start to outperform traders. It's just crazy how the whole thing is syncing up. Like if we really will start to pump 8th of October, like because I don't think that currently, currently people are just bullish because, oh, it's like October, it's Q4, bullshit i think like current pump will it will eventually drone we will eventually go a bit lower 
from the current pump because partially you might say yeah we have a bunch of liquidity here at the same time like these people are not stupid I don't think this like 230 million dollars in shorts are stupid. I don't think so, right? So it's kind of interesting. Like if 8th of October, the date actually gave you, will actually be the date when we reverse from traders outperforming to investors outperforming, it would be fucking crazy. And how you can prepare to this situation? So what you can do, you buy into coins with good narrative, with crazy narratives, you buy, you accumulate, and you just fucking wait. You have to, you don't have to do nothing. You are getting your time back. You don't have to be in the market losing money, selling shit, buying shit. Nah, most traders are not performing nicely. Most traders, like when they are performing the best, is when they're buying the coin with a great narrative that would be able to survive, and when they just hold. This is how they outperform. Even people with Mudan currently. Best people who essentially re received a lot of cash from a lot of profits were the ones that were able to hold. Unfortunately, some of them will be holding this thing to zero because they don't understand that this thing is going to zero, right? They don't understand. Even current, like it was at 180 million. It had like buy bit listing. It went to 240 and they're selling it already. They call it swing trades. Just crazy to me. This is just crazy to me. If you believe in the narrative, well, why don't you hold? So they understand this is bullshit. They understand that they're lying to you because themselves they're selling on each and every palm because they're fucking afraid. They can't hold, right? So this is the situation out there. And buying into coins that people will be able to hold with a good narrative that are on the marketplace for quite some time. This is just the best scenario, best case out there because we all have to understand we are at the start. Currently, I can definitely tell you that this situation that we're seeing in, on BTC dominance, this is the fucking all season. This is the start of the whole thing. We cannot imagine what type of liquidity is coming into this space. Liquidity will stop, makes sense. The only goal is to buy into the assets that will survive. Buy into the assets that will be there in the marketplace. They kind of showed themselves to you already, right? Because we've been through the first part of the cycle. That's why like this Solana meme coin game is quite it's actually quite dangerous because if if you are selling your long-term positions and you're buying into some low caps that probably will die out tomorrow, this is just crazy. Even with Mudan situation, because some people, they definitely were selling their essentially altcoins or other memes and they were buying maybe $150 million market cap, $200 million, right? 120 and they're thinking like, oh, all right, like th this thing is probably going to billions, right? But you have to understand, People who are saying that this thing is going to billions, they're only good at saying. They are only good at bullshitting each other. They're not good in, in holding. They don't believe it themselves. If they would believe it themselves, they won't be selling on the current pump of the news of Bybit listing. I don't think it's going to see Binance. I think it will be dying out in fucking no time. Save yourselves. And I think that some people definitely we're selling out of the long-term good meme coin bags and buying into this crap. This is crazy to me. Buying into this crap at, at these levels, right? Because if you bought it, like maybe 80 million, 40 million, 20 million, that's nice. That's that's no questions, right? But moving further, just crazy. It's just crazy to me. So hold your long-term bags. Coins that were able to show you that they will be surviving on the marketplace. Hold them. There is a very, very few amount of new tokens that's actually coming out of the marketplace with a proper narrative that will be able to sustain and with proper team that will be able to push it. I can show you one thing, just crazy to me. Something I will show you is just, is just crazy. So this is Clapcat. I think I was talking about it on some of the videos as well, definitely in the private Discord. So what we can see here is that after essentially 0 0.67 holder, I would say even, even these holders, right? So we can see that the whole thing is bundled and you can see that 63, 63, 64, 60, 60, 60, right? And what's interesting is that I actually spent some time to push this page to the last page of this whole thing. And you can see the whole situation, the situation like this is everywhere on this token. So 0, 0, 0, 005, 0, 004. So all of this is bundled supply. It's crazy to me because the token is essentially holding the market cap at this stage, just holding. And I've seen 
this thing getting farmed heavily, like heavily getting farmed. We can also see this in top traders as well. This is very, very easy to see. 16K sold and, and you can see 8, 8, 7, 7, 7, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 5. So it's the same station as in bread, the same station as in, as in Wolf on Solana. It's mostly, I would say it's mostly about Wolf on Solana, right? So 0.04 percentage, just crazy. So the guy pretty much just holds, it's almost like that there are no real people holding this thing, maybe a couple of like largest holders, influencers. And I'm honestly thinking when they're not, I should be buying into this thing because it just looks crazy to me. It's like, it's like almost all of the supply is being held by the team, the heavy farming, but you, you won't be able to find much transactions at this stage, at this level, because no one is buying it and they farmed everything that they were able to farm, right? So it's, it's almost like at the bottoms at this stage, this, this clap cat thing. And it's crazy. It's crazy. It's like they don't have to do anything. They just launch the thing like this. They just farm till they farm the whole thing. And this is like this pure. This is the the reason I'm showing this is because it's like pure, like just just a shell. It's like a shell of of a coin. It it does not have it doesn't have any holders. It doesn't have anything inside. It's just all of the supply just farmed, being held by the development team. This is just crazy. And they farmed the whole thing. They pretty much farmed the whole thing to zero, each and every dollar, right? Well, at the same time, this is one of the reasons I'm thinking that maybe I should actually buy it currently because from that point of view, it's at the bottom. It's at the bottom at this stage. It would be very interesting to see what, what will be happening with this thing moving further, but it's a very, very high risk. I just wanted to show it to, to show the situation of how farmed this shit is actually is. This is my overview. I give you the information, the situation on the marketplace, the reversal pattern that the BTC dominance, I'm telling you 100% that we reversed and we actually in the out season. And I'm also telling you that fear and greed is still there. And I'm also expecting slight drop. I'm actually expecting like, like this week to be corrective. And yeah, it would be crazy if 8th of October would actually be it. If we would really start to pump, like really start like heavy candle, we will really start to pump from 8th of October. It would be just crazy. This is it. From my end, thank you very much. I'll be seeing you tomorrow.